terror terror morph what the hell's a terror morph they, they just had to up xenomorph right thanks to the uc marines we now have the second piece of the puzzle a fully grown alpha predator according to my research a group of astrogeologists made first contact nearly a hundred years ago on some remote moon the creatures didn't appear to be indigenous and was alone there's currently no record of how is this supposed to be like an aliens reference there's no record of how it got there so it was sheer cosmic chance that this astrogeologist found it, or rather, it found them. Scientists were quick to categorize it as Ossicio Machina, roughly killing machine. The UC Marines tasked with taking it down chose a simpler name, Terramorv. I read the official record once. Of the eight-person squad, only two of the grunts survived, and one of those lost a leg. Such an exciting time to be, a Xeno or to be in Xeno Warfare. NCI fitting. Today we fit the Terramorph with the NCI. If we experience, if our experience with the grunts first dropped off the creature, any indication our sedation window will be around 15 minutes. We gotta make them count. It, it only gets 15 minutes after sedation. What? They need to find better sedation or sedatives. It's loose. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. <laughs> yeah. How? I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could That's make it. I'm not surprised whatever escape. is inside, provided you had some digi pics and a disregard for personal property rights. The people that. Oh, what did I just say? The people that own this stuff are all dead. Oh shit. Heat leech. Hey, bunch of digipits. We got laser ammo. We got some bourbon, steak, and lemon. So somebody was hiding out trying to live here. Dead. We're all dead. You the comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. <laughs> All right. Okay, bottom layer solved. Okay, that solves the top layer. That solves the bottom layer. Yay! I like that you can plan it before you start clicking buttons, and they don't seem to give you a time limit. Makes it a lot easier to solve. We don't have a lot of ammo. Uh, let's see. Quick save. The fact that you can't have that scanner on. Nope. Oh, that reminds me. What did we get when we... Nothing of... So fake meat. Wonderful. Nothing except for the valve. We didn't get like a... I thought we got a new helmet. Oh. There's another of what we're already wearing. Okay. That explains it. Uh, filter deep mining pack. It's blue. That's new. The pack. 25% less oxygen consumption. It's got more physical, but less energy. 
So we lose 6 EM and 10 energy, but we gain 8 physical. We get 20 more airborne and 10 less corrosive, but we lose 5 radiation and thermal. It doesn't look like much. It doesn't even look like it has... This is the boost pack, but it doesn't look like it has any boosters on it. At least this one, you can see the booster nozzles, right? Maybe it's able to fire out those two cylinders in the back. There, or I guess it could be a, no, a one nozzle right down the middle, right? just did this but quick save you gotta be kidding me the frontier has a new captain you working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold dead hands I'm with constellation you need to stop attacking our ship <laughs> just attack him what's your problem with Barrett we don't have a problem with Barrett we want that ship the frontier if you're the captain of it now that means we're after you. See, he just patched metal over his face? Must have lost an eye. I'm with Constellation. You need to stop attacking our ship. Oh, <laughs> no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That Constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The Frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. I don't suppose we can just agree to disagree. <laughs> if he were here, Barrett would say he was proud of you for asking that. The answer is no. All right, so persuade. There's no treasure in my ship. Cut your losses before more people get hurt. You're not talking us out of this score. Okay, to persuade a person, you need to make a successful choice. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails, but the more points you'll earn when you succeed. You have a limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. Huh? So we need four. We got three turns to get four points. Is that it? Yeah, you have it wrong. Constellation's an explorer group. They aren't treasure hunters. They aren't? You sure? The ship doesn't have anything on it. You're chasing a fairy tale. Oh, that... That can't be right. Seems like we're getting, um... What I'd like to hear. Look, you can come aboard the frontier right now. See for yourself. There's nothing on it. I don't want to kill him. Like, they got loot, right? Hey, if you want to trade ships, that sounds good to me. The frontier creaks when it turns anyway. <laughs> Better make the decision or I'll make it for you. Let's go big. I want to kill him anyway. Not sure you can really back up all this tough talk. I've heard enough out of you. Kill them! Barrett and the Crimson Fleet have something of a history. They always assume all the help is compromised. Always oh, bringing in reinforcements. Ah! You 
just got to shield back after taking more damage. You are trying to kill me, but I am not technically alive. Oh shit! We're out of ammo. Shot him in the ass. Travel to Constellations headquarters without Prince and Fleet interference. Rare item, anti ballistic space something or other. Reddit, gun, salt suit, Rendell, Jackware? Wasn't there a third guy up here? Oh, there he is. One second. Let's see what our new stuff is real quick. Pirate assault suit. Ooh, it's a red suit. I like that it's red. Less physical, more energy, more thermal and corrosive, but we lose the airborne and radiation. So we lose seven physical and get eight energy. 30 airborne for 30 corrosive and a radiation and thermal switch. We can also have a helmet like theirs, which does look cool. Hmm. I wish we had something with chameleon. Bethesda games always let you go invisible at some point. All right, four physical for four energy. They basically swap the physical for energy protection. It looks cooler than what I was wearing, so I'm going to go with it. I hope it doesn't affect our actual how we view things. Oh, check it out. We also got uh, a gray elbow grease gear here. And utility, oh, actually, that looks kind of cool. This is like everyday clothes, eh? Again, takes physical, exchanges physical protection for energy protection. But it looks cooler than, oh, that looks kind of, that looks cool in its own right. This looks like something we could wear down the street. getting shot at from okay this gun can't shoot that far all oh, right this gun's got shit range this is the gun that shoots better I understand. He you almost pushed me off the ledge. And take our belongings. Are they both out that far? I wish we had some kind of scope to zoom in. I think I got one. There was just two. Actually, there's another one this way. Ow. I want to try the revolver. Violence significantly decreases one's life expectancy. I don't like the revolver. Do I have to go back through the whole base to get out? You know what? We've already looted up here. 
Actually, wait, no. We, we should explore. Will these guys stay down here for us to kill? Says there's two according to my radar, there's still two guys left to kill. I like that I have a lot of this ammo. It also seemed to do really good at range, so. I think he's staying behind cover. Oh wait, no, he's... I got sneak attack! I got him! Ah! It's really hard to make them out when they're at range like that. Oh my god, I am going to kill this freaking associate guy. So annoying. Keeps I am pushing us. Picking up the enemy on my scanner. Well, I am. I can't see him though. All right. Like we gotta go loot those guys, obviously. But there might. Oh wait, this is where we came in. Okay, so not there. What's up here? Does the robot guy not attack at all? Seems like a pretty useless companion so far. Got some cheese, coffee, peaches. Oh, what's down here? Uh, a hammer, 73 credits, med pack. Which let's use and that's it. Something's under here. One second. Uh stapler. Don't think it's worth much, but we went through the effort of jumping down there. We might as well grab it. And what's up here? Nothing really. Let's see, we got cutting pliers. Another impact driver. This time missing the ooh, missing the call it, but still the same mass and weight or value and everything. And oh, uh, we got a Grendel. Not even a special Grendel, just. Buck normal Grendel. That's it. I'm a little disappointed. Ooh, what's that? Helium three dispenser. Twenty helium three. Is it because they don't have pinks on this side? We got some helium three. I guess that's something. There is also an unknown that way. All right. Well, let's get off this. We got to get ourselves to the lodge now that they can. I'm not sure this is going to solve our problem though. Like if the crimson, if like the crimson people already have this legend that our ship is full of loot, killing that guy is not going to stop more of them coming. It's just why is there toilet paper in a bucket up here? 
somebody using this as like the getaway shit spot? They didn't want to go inside, they just went back in the corner and take a dump. Somebody was definitely eating out here. Got thermos and everything. Okay, there was a guy down here. Could he be in here? Doesn't seem to be in here. He wouldn't have just wandered off, would he? Like a bunch of his buddies got shot up. Didn't we kill one over near the bush? Okay, I know we killed some down here. They don't the bodies don't disappear, do they? No, here's a body here. We got 76 credits, 36 6.5 millimeter, uh, a pirate survival pack, and a maelstrom. Oh, he, he looted his friend's corpse for stuff. Utility flight suit, maelstrom, and rescue axe. I guess we found the guy that we were looking for, right? I thought that right there, the rock there, was a creature sneaking up on him for a split second. Can't click and drag bodies? Oh, that's weird. That's already been scanned. All right, well. All right, so if we look at it and just press left bumper. Oh, we have to do it with the scanner. Okay, and then A. You can fast travel to your ship. Captain, to reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second it nature before items. too long. I, I moved a box to get something from it earlier. So I know you can with the, uh, like items in that. At least the boxes. I'm disappointed we didn't get any. But we got a modified maelstrom. Long barrel, large magazine. Let's get rid of that one. We'll keep that one instead. Or the space suit. Oh, check out the new backpack. Anti-ballistic space trucker pack. It's rare. Minus 15% ballistic physical damage. However, it does lower my natural physical resistance even more. We lose the 25% less oxygen in exchange for that 15% better fight. It does look like it's armored. Oh man. Yeah, okay, we'll store those two. I guess we'll equip it for now. Oh, the other one might be better. Okay, we'll store both of you. And right, we can keep gear on me. 
no wait. Transfer all those. Nope, oh, I didn't mean to send the digipix. Miscellaneous. Got five digipix. Much, but still do ship parts. When did we get ship parts? Can sleep on the bed. The galley you can cook. I can make an alien sandwich. Bread and nutrients. Grilled cheese sandwiches, bread with cheese. Five hit points or five hit points plus 75 energy for five minutes. So I think I'll make those first. I'm sorry, grilled cheese sandwich would give you more than that. A, grilled cheese, a good grilled cheese sandwich can really pick you up for the day. Especially with a little bit of bacon on it. Mm, so good. Research Lab lets you discover new recipes. Okay. Can it not use material directly from the galley? It does say a mere, uh, it says a material available, but then it says zero out of three. We've seen beryllium. Okay, we got, wait, do we have everything we need for robot one? Helmet mods, we need cosmetic and polymer. Barrel mods, we need sealant. I had sealant earlier. Oh my god, I'm gonna need optic and laser mods. Grip and stock mods. Barrel mods. I would like to get these going. Zero watt. I have everything but the sealant for internal mods, but it's blocked. Oh, you get to pick how much you've given? Okay. It's odd that it doesn't tell you, like it tells you how much you put in, but not how much you want. There should almost be three lines there. That way you can tell how much you have, how much it wants, and how much you've installed. Like now, now I'm here, it says 57. I should see that on this screen. Their UI is so lazy. I guess I'll just give it it all. Oh, it gave it all of the things. Even the, the chloris, whatever. Oh, I, I'm, I'm telling you to give it aluminum, but it's also giving the, the nickel. And the one ceiling I, ceiling I had. Sudden development, iron. Overflow, remaining progress, plus three nickel, plus two sealant. Project complete. I didn't have sealant. We, that must have been something else that got us that. Okay. Oh, interesting. Guess we'll give it the three and hope for some overflow. Nope. We only, we only have two of the zero wire. We'll save that.
Overflow, we got free red meat. Then we can install the red meat we have. No overflow. And just enough cheese remaining. Research complete! Old Earth Cuisine! Dun, 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 dun. Mixology and beverages. They can wait. Medical treatment. We're missing amino acids, but maybe we'll get overflow. Amino acid overflow. Yeah. And we got the aluminum. Research complete. Performance enhancements. Tetrafluorides. We don't have any tetrafluorides, but we got two argon. Got the tetrafluorides, yeah! Met met metabolic agents, we have 10. We can put the three in, no problem. Well, that's done. All right, sweet. That one pretty good. I didn't realize you could get freebies. I thought it was just taking the stuff because we had it and putting it in there. I totally, ooh. That, that's worth a lot. You think you'd be mad if we stole his old earth ball? Oh, I'd kill for some chunks right now. First stop when I get home. But I really need to get better about packing snacks for these long hauls. Some rhubarb, boom pop. Maybe some cereal. Irvin always made the best trail mix. Added in little marshmallows for stars. <laughs> I miss that. The chisel, a broken helmet, nightwear. I'm reluctant to take the baseball because that was his, and it's actually valuable. Soil box. Yay. What is it that I picked up by accident? DPS is still 50. The Eon's better than the, the Rattler. I kind of preferred the Rattler firing than the Eon, but what do I know? Let's take all, ooh, look at, it's nighttime outside. When did that happen? Feels weird about to take off from the planet when we haven't finished scanning stuff, but if we really want to, we can come back. I want to get to the the planet. What should we call it? It would have been nice if you could fly your ship around the local area to save your travel time, and then have it land at this point point than that. But this ain't so bad. in Alpha Centauri? Oh, right. That's probably the other planet that's there. At least, hey, we can see where that planet is. Like, we were 3 point, or, yeah, 3.8 light seconds that way. And then we came over to here. Which actually isn't that far. Alpha Centauri 
Okay, why is it measuring it in AU? That is a horrible measurement for something that far away. Shouldn't it be tell saying you in light years? It does light seconds for these things, but not light years. Like these, these measurements are swapped. It should be how many AU away these are, which is just the distance from the earth to the sun in Sol, one AU, eight, roughly eight and a half light minutes. That's rounding up though, to like that, uh, to half. But still, it's like what, 8.35 light minutes, I think. But then we have like three light seconds here. Like that should be in light years, which if it was from Sol to Alpha Centauri it would be four. Dang, how many, what is that? We got 1,010,951.5 AU. Does that actually work out? One sec. We'll have to go, we'll have an idea of like, okay. Uh, Hopefully Google will bring up uh All right. How how many light years in one AU? Uh okay. Zero point zero 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 one. <laughs> oh, okay. Well here, let's find out. That did 15 light years. Okay, that might actually be pretty accurate. Holy shit. But why? Why do AU for that big? Seeing a digit that's saying millions of AU, that's not going to help us. But if, if you say it's 15 light years, like then you know, like LS is a close distance. You're measuring in light seconds. LMs for light minutes. And then LY for light years, you know, it, it all kind of like played together. All right. We got mission. Oh, he's punching buttons. Grab jumping, interesting. I bet that's a predetermined equation there that always looks the same. As opposed to basing it on the actual gravity of the area of map. Because it's got like a fake gravity map when you look at the, the mini map. Ooh, Alpha Centauri. No contraband on the ship. Here. Waiting for scan. This is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Is that? Oh, yeah. UC Sec Amir. So if I start attacking these other ships, that guy would get pissy. The Free Star Kiffer. I think I like for space. I think I like being out here. I wouldn't mind being a little bit further back from the ship, but there's no way of doing that except for boosting. All right. Check out all the New Atlantis is over there. I like that open planet map with X. Check it out. It's kind of like Earth. We got a big old moon. It does seem like the, the scale of things is a little off. Like that moon's got to be way farther away than it looks. But that, that's got to be the same for the rest of the system. Because these orbits are overlapping. I like that they're doing like the, they're trying to show the gravity fields. But like the one for the sun should kind of be over, like kind of influencing everything shallowly and then just have a very steep thing near it. Cause everything still orbits. The reason why they're orbiting is the curve of space. Like this one kind of looks like it, like how I think it should be. The, skirt, the, the curve of the, the space near this is making it follow this inward roll. But the rest look like there's far enough away that they're not really. 
Bondo. All right, we're. Oh, you can just zoom right in. Interesting. Okay, if we come over to this place. Oh, we can scan. Whoop. It's got some lead. It's got three traits that we have yet to find out. Is the traits the locations or the traits something else? New Atlantis is in the Northern Hemisphere. Got lots of resources near that outpost. Probably why they built there. Okay. Land. We're landing at Atlantis. We made it. We can go talk to Dr. Rodney McKay. There should be a, a Dr. McKay, but it's, since it's a future, it doesn't have to be Rodney. But it should be. There should definitely be, like, references to actual characters. Or, well, not actually, but the characters from Stargate Atlantis. Missed opportunity otherwise. Hey, Bosco. What? No bearing? Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? Gotta be honest. I'm a little surprised every time this ship makes it back in one piece. Is that this guy saying that? Or is that somebody else? Or is it this dude? Who knew Barrett? Like their owners, for decorating their ships with heat leech nests would be a nice touch. That sounds stupid. That will drain the systems. The efficiency of the thrusters and stuff. Okay, what's this? And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Trade Authority kiosk. Thousand credits, my ship needs repairs. Do I even have a thousand credits? Okay, sure. We'll take care of any holes, broken seals, that kind of thing. Thousand credits removed. It still leaves it there. Does this not base it on what damage your ship actually has? Can I see what ships you have for sale? I'm sure you can find something you like. Dude, that doesn't look that bad. That's kind of interesting. It only has a couple lifters, though. It's way better grav engines. Or is it just the same grav engines? I just didn't realize how much it can be cranked. Same shields, less engines. Ooh, what's par? Disruptor electron beams. From that little thing down there? Is that like phaser type thing? Because we had lasers and they didn't look that interesting. It's got a missile rack. No ballistics though. Is this the only ship they have? Nope, that's one of five. Oh shit, wrong button. I'm sure you can find some. All right, so the Rambler, there's the Galileo. Oh, check out this guy. Oh, I dig the kind of shape of it. It's got power and ballistics. It's got more ballistics. I'm guessing two. One missile, two power, two ballistic. Is that it? Yep, two, ba two ballistics. I only see one, one power though. Maybe particle emitters can do. You stole. <laughs> oh, you know what? I bet it's one because the other side's the missile. That's too bad. I would have wanted like one down the center, shooting right below from that cockpit. But maybe that's the only places they can put them. Okay. So this one's a reactor sixteen. It can jump further. It's got more shields, more particles, and more missiles. Two crew. Let's see, 50 fuel, 387 hull, 260 cargo. It's just the little guy. But it, it, it's fast with big engine. Well, big power. 57,000. 
This guy's 132,000. It's got 11,000 fuel storage, 484 haul, still only 200 cargo capacity, which is not much. Four crew, 405 shields, however, 21 light year jump, and an 18 power reactor. I kind of like that guy. Is he just a long range, like a deep space explorer then? He doesn't, doesn't have a lot of uh, storage. It's got a sparrow, which is very similar to the Rambler, but shorter. Oh, it's got a different engine at the back. Okay. This one's 140 haul, f or sorry, 140 fuel, 411 haul, 920. This one's a cargo. 920 cargo? How's the smallest one have the biggest cargo? It's those square cubes at the side, isn't it? I bet it is. It's got 340 shields, three crew. It can only jump 18 light years, but it's got 24 particles. So two particle emitters. You can see it on each on each of those little arm bits at the side there. It looks like it's got some kind of scanning dish. This one's a cargo hauler, which it looks seems small for that compared to the other ones. I got f just shy of 4,000 credits, and Vendor's got 70. Vendor doesn't have, or the dish is the shield. Okay. Odd that it's just hanging at the side like that. This is the responder. 350 fuel, 410 cargo, 430 haul. It's got an A rea reactor, is A16. It's got three crew, 340 shields, 12 particles. 36 EM. The AM is the EM-80 suppressor. The enemy ships in different combat, depending on the damage type, energy effects, shields, ballistic hull, and EM system. So it's a system disruptor. So this is designed to like disable ships. This is a, it's probably a reconfigured police ship so that you can now go steal ships. All right. There's the, you can see the EM emitter underslung below the cabin with the particle emitter beside it. All right. This is 65,300, 444 mass. And the final ship, the shield breaker. Yeah, I like this one. It's better in L regard. That thing looks aggressive as fuck. That looks kind of, holy shit, it's massive. Look at the engines on this thing. Holy crapoids. Someone's compensating for something. And judging by the other systems, compensating for more than one thing. So it's a class B reactor of 27 power. It's got five crew, 610 shields, 58 missile, 28 ballistic, 24 laser. Can jump 22 light years and a go. It's got 2,280 cargo, 940 haul, and can store 550 fuel. Holy shit, 279,000. The guy doesn't have enough money to get this himself from him, but he's got the ship. That looks pretty awesome. I like that one. That one looks cool. It looks like the red part is its own ship, and then they just bolted on extra stuff on top of it. The cargo, oh man, I, the cargo alone kind of makes me want this. Then it's got all the extra lasers in that. Man. Maybe drop the ballistic in exchange for uh, an EM, though. Yeah, I can only fly A-class, right? Because I don't have enough skills. This thing looks like it should have more storage than it does. All right, so this one's a 22 meter. Oh, wait, actually. Hmm. So it's about 60 meters from side to side, or from front to back. 56, but whatever. And 44 from side to side. Well, maybe just shy of that. Why 20? Or is it 22 how actually wide it is? 
That seems pretty big. How, how big was that really big guy? He was 20 wide and 37 back, 37 at the front too. Yeah. Man, I really, I want to get one of these guys. Look at all, look at those lasers. It's got three lasers. One's directly over the cockpit. And it's got a missile and a, a, a wee tiny ballistics thing right there. Look at her. They're so cute. It doesn't look like those lifter pods at the front there, like the landing pods for the engines should be enough. Check out the grav generator on it. I like the en the engines. Like, look at those. They're huge. We're going to save up for that. I'd like to view and modify my ship. Okay, no problem. Can't afford to do anything. So we... We're only 11 meters wide, 20 meters long. We're a little tiny guy, but check it out. We got four of those liftoff engines. Don't know what that means, but it should means a lot. Plus, honestly, I like the way our engines look. Our engines look pretty cool. 450 capacity cargo. We can only store 50 fuel, so we don't store a lot of fuel. 366 hull. Uh, a, a class A reactor can do two crew, 16 light year jump. We have six laser, 13 ballistic, and 47 missile. And yet, do we just have really bad lasers? Because a lot of those other ones were getting more lasers per, like more laser bars than what we are. A class A, 1000 meter range, 6.5 fire, three hull damage, nine shield damage, six max power. Two hull, one crew. They must have had a better laser on it because this one doesn't look like it's that great. Makes me think a little bit of the Firefly, which which I dig. Piloting level three. Have you seen the uh, Adam, Sa Adam Savage 3D printed and then painted up? a movie scale replica and then they did like a movie shot for it thing it's really cool i think they did it of this version of the ship too ended up making it like a meter and a half long i think in the end it looked really awesome everything looks good here i'll be at my booth if you need me i think he ripped me off of a thousand credit I didn't have very much damage. That that repairing your systems should be based on how much damage your ship's taken. Wish that bartender at the viewport would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. Okay, see, it's cool that they do things like that. So now we can talk to the bartender and get a mission. That's cool. See, that is pretty cool how they have that set up. Man, it's, it's almost like they took a little bit of a hint from Morrowind where the, if people have a full schedule and they're doing their lives and this one combining that with them not really doing it if you're not there probably but like you can cross somebody here a rumor of something and get a side quest or a little go do something off of that it just this has them talk rather than 